Yo, what's going on, boys? So, uh, just got done with my cardio and some legs today, and uh, just dripping sweat as usual. So, I wanted to talk a little bit about my self development journey, just a tad, and how it can apply to you guys. And um, so, basically, I've been on the self development train for the last 10 years, and um, it all started in the dorm room when I was like, How do I get a girlfriend? You know what I mean? And um, I just thought the girls came to you, you know, it's like, Oh, well. They'll just be here. Not really. You have to go find them. And I honestly thought you had to go and apply and get into every single club or you just pick one girl from there. And that's not really the case. I ended up going down a self-development journey of uh, just cold approaching and going up to talk to people in college. And it turned out great. It really taught me a lot about, hey, you don't you don't need any permission to go up and talk to somebody. If they don't want to talk to you, they'll let you know. Okay, this, is, this benefits sales, all kinds of stuff. Um, I literally would wear stuff so that I would get attention. So I was getting used to people looking at me and, and all that stuff. And it was great. I mean, I, I learned a lot from it and, um, I wouldn't go back and do it again. You know, now I was like wearing gold jackets and stuff and I don't know, it was just kind of silly, but, uh, it was fun. Good times. But now I'm trying to do a little bit more proactive stuff with who I am as a person. So yesterday, uh, I went to the dermatologist. Um, I go there for, I used to have so bad acne guys, like horrible. Like there's one right here, pimple that's healing up, but it's like, geez, I used to have like acne all down my shoulders. I used to have it like on my back and chest and everything. And, uh, so I've been on Accutane for, it was 10 months, took a year and a half break, came back on it cause it came back. And, uh, that was great. You know, I've, finally I think cured it yesterday they're like okay you're gonna finish up your course and you'll be done um I take finasteride for my hair I take a little bit of minoxidil solution for my hair as well been taking a little bit of minoxidil foam on the beard here to try to bring in some of the patches um starting a regiment on whitening my teeth okay I've never done that um I always heard it like destroys your enamel but we're gonna we're gonna test it all right, so I'm gonna be the first one to test it. I'm not gonna tell you guys something to do when I've never tried it. I refuse to do that, okay? So if I'm telling you fitness advice or whatnot, I, I'm not gonna tell you something I haven't done, tried, or what is true. That's why I'm getting this training certification so I can know the truth once and for all because everybody on YouTube and, and online uh, contradicts themselves. You know, and that's not that's not acceptable in my book, okay? And that's not acceptable for me to tell you guys what to do and, and I don't even know what I'm talking about. So, there it is. So, uh, I wore braces as a kid. I uh, have a permanent bottom retainer and I wear a night guard at top so I don't grind my teeth at night. Uh, do I grind? I, I don't know, probably. Uh, there was some evidence, I guess. But now it looks like, because they do their 3D modeling, that it doesn't happen. So, um, look into that. If your teeth are crooked, I recommend uh, either Invisalign or go get some braces or something. Okay, I was on braces for a year and a half when I was in like sixth grade. And um, it honestly wasn't that bad. You know, if you can get it, get out of the way, it'd be great. Uh, one side effect they don't tell you about is thin gums. Now, not everybody has thin gums, but it can create thin gums. And it was very really frustrating because like I had some like thin gum thin gums on the bottom and they're like oh well that could be a cause of braces great you know because you're pulling your teeth apart um but the good news about having your teeth all like that is you're more attractive okay you're able to floss in between your teeth and reduces the risk of periodontal disease which in turn keeps your heart healthy and i'm telling you right now all the systems for your um your body all work together okay if your nervous system isn't functioning there's gonna be a lot wrong with you it's gonna affect other systems. So you need to keep your body in tip top shape, okay? And it starts with your teeth, believe it or not, because if you get a tooth infection, that can affect your heart, which then affects respiratory, the cardiovascular system, you get like disease and, and it's just bad. You know what I mean? So uh, prioritize your health. I go to the dentist every three months. There's a x-ray like every six months and then I just do a, um, I pay for an extra cleaning or whatever. Um, totally worth it you know what I mean so try to up your lives a little bit um, if you're wondering why like you can't even get girls for example that could be a cause get in shape get your teeth looking good 
um, get your hair on point, find what works for you, and uh, have fun with it. So that's kind of the journey I'm on right now. We're starting day one on the teeth whitening today. Um, so, and they're not bad, but uh, you know, I was talking to the dentist and they're like, oh, well, you, you don't want to have too white because you know, it, the tooth is naturally like a yellow color because of the enamel, which is fine. But what you really want to do is have um, the whiteness if you can. Um, they say it's actually not that bad. So it's like I have a contradictory information once again, but I found out that actually whitening your teeth isn't that bad. And um, as long as you don't do it like all the time, okay, like once a year type thing. So it's a 20 day process, three weeks. So we'll come back. I actually took a before picture. So we'll do a after picture later and we'll compare the two. Uh, but yeah, if you uh, like what my teeth end up being, then consider doing it and uh, go from there. You can also put minoxidil on your eyebrows if you want. I used to do that a little bit. I might do it again, but yeah, we'll go from there. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. I was just, I actually didn't really have a topic. So I was just talking about what's going on in my life right now and uh, what I'm trying to improve, what you should be improving. And not just to get a girl, but because you're gonna feel on top of the world. You're gonna feel that you actually are accomplishing things because that's the best feeling in the world, bro. As, as a guy, we want to be accomplishing, creating goals, missions, and actually winning on our goals, writing things down every day. Keep yourself busy. And I don't mind as the devil's playground, okay? You guys wonder why some things don't work out the way you want to, or, you know, too many video games. How many times have you guys like just taken a day off, right? You just took a day off to watch videos, play video games. I feel like trash at the end of the day. I'm like what happened? Why am I more tired than when I'm actually busy? It's because you took a back seat for the day. And unless you're like really sick, I wouldn't recommend ever doing that because it starts to train your brain. Oh, I can take this day off. I can take that day. I don't need to go to the gym. I don't need to push for my goals and it's okay. And eventually that builds up over time. And if you don't have anybody pushing you, bro, it's not gonna work out for you. So here I am to push you, to kick you, <laughs> to kick you in the butt and let's go. You know what I mean? Let's move it. So get busy in a world full of fakeness and deception. Keep dominating your realities, bro. Talk to you later.